Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in the last episode, we've uh, pretty much completed everything. We had uh, the Create React app completed with our to-do list, and now we can add a new to-do and delete one and mark it as completed and all the functionality works. What we need to do now uh, to build everything and create a DMG file so we can go ahead and distribute it. Now we are going to use a nice library called um, Electron Builder. So let's go ahead and install this one. Uh, inside our to-dos we'll do npm install save dev for Electron Builder. Inside our package.json, I would like to add another entry for build. This one will have the app ID. This is something that is required for Electron Builder. We'll call it uh, we code uh, to do. And I found that in uh, Electron Builder, it fails uh, whenever you try to build an application built in React unless we add this extends null key in here. I don't know why, but it seems to work and that's good enough for me. We'll add two more scripts to our application, one called pack, and this will do um, build for the current directory. And the other one will, do, will be dist, and this one will do build. Now, um, I'll show you the documentation over there. You have a lot of options that you can tweak around. You can also add to your package.json um, the icon size, the icon text size, the title, uh, the content, which means where, uh, like when you click on the DMG, you have a new uh, window open up and you have the, uh, the icon for your application and another icon for uh, the local application folder. So you can just drag your app inside and you can uh, specify the location like the X and Y for your icon and for the other one. Um, you have uh, a lot of documentation here for how to do the same thing for Windows and for Linux. I'll just show you how to do this for Mac but you can pretty much do it for everything. <clears throat> now the icon you're going to need to build this application is going to be a .icns file. You can look for online tools to uh, convert um, let's say, say PNG to to ICNS. I've used this one. You can just drag in your PNG and we'll generate an ICNS file for you. Okay, so we need to create a build directory because this is what it's going to look for. Um, if you want to have a custom icon, I'm going to go into my to-dos and do mkdir um, build. Now I'm going to go back to my desktop and move my icon into uh, to do's build icon.icns now we can go back into our to do's and do npm run dist to build our application okay so uh, once it's done you can go ahead and open up the folder and finder and go into dist and open up the dmg And there you have it. You can just drag in the to-dos into application. Go into the launch pad and here are my to-dos. Now it's not working and let's see why. Uh, because we don't have the uh, React application server running, we can go and do npm start. And now we're going to have our to do is running. Now, if you want to go ahead and make it available for production, there are a few things you need to consider. The first thing inside your Electron entry, you need to remove this line to disable the dev tools. Okay. Uh, point it to uh, like a local, let's say local index.html file. And this HTML will have a script to include your JavaScript. And if you would like to change uh, the title in here, instead of React app, you can go into your public index.html and change the title in here. So let's do we code tutorials and save this one. You can uh, go back to the finder and 
delete our dist. Let's make sure we removed the dev tool uh, entry and we did. I'm going to leave the create react app URL in here for now and we'll just do again npm run dist. Okay, let's open it up in Finder again and run npm start. I'll go into my dist and open up the to do's dmg. I think we already have one in here under application, so we'll just open up this one and well, it works. And there you go. Uh, well, guys, that was it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.